Hello, welcome to the post-show week vlog where I don't have rehearsals every night and I don't have performances and I suddenly don't know what to do with my life because I have so much time. There's nothing in the cup. I'm going to have to go back to an early vlog and find a sipping sound effect that I can splice in there. But there is one interesting thing happening. Shh, it's a surprise birthday party for Otto. Her birthday's in December, and I told her we would throw a birthday party for her in November. So we invited some friends over to have a small party on Saturday night. Little does she know, the real party is on Friday night, and it's a surprise. We've kind of talked about it as like a really chill kind of small party, but then I got someone to take me to Walmart, and I bought a bunch of decorations and ingredients to make a cake, and I'm gonna decorate Friday morning and surprise her Friday night. Fingers crossed that it all goes down without a hitch. Be ready to learn some more Japanese. It's a Chinese Japanese word for yes. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> do your opening your segment. Hi, welcome to Autumn Bottom. Okay, so what do you think How it do says? I read it? Is it like this? No, it's the other way actually. And actually, I, this might be wrong. I, I wrote it vertically for aesthetic purposes. We haven't actually written anything vertically in class, so I, I may this. have done that wrong. So what do you think it says? Welcome you. Nope. So it's, it has a word here, and then there's a word here, and then this is a particle. As in like a punctuation? Um, sort of, we'll get to that. And then that's a verb. The verb pertains to this noun. This is a frequency word. O, which is the particle that tells you that this noun is what the verb is doing. This is like a Mad Lib. Give me a noun. Apartment. And what do you do in an apartment? Sleep. Okay, so. I apartment sleep. You apartment sleep, we apartment sleep. <laughs> this is how often? Everyday apartment sleep. Actually, this is often. That's the that's the word. So often apartment sleep. Apartment sleep. What this actually says is Yoku Kohi o nomimas. Have I gone over that with you? Uh-huh. Drink. Drink! It's a drink. Uh the verb for drink is nomu. For some reason, you change it to me when you actually use it in a sentence and you add mas on the end. It's actually masu, but you kind of like drop the zu. Often soda drink. Kohi. Kohi. Coffee. Yes, coffee. So it says, I often drink coffee. Technically, it says often drink coffee. The watashi wa, the, the I is implied. No, it would be often coffee drink. That would be the direct translation. <laughs> so that's a basic verb sentence. In Japanese. I can say something in French. Pour j'allais au toilette s'il vous plaît. Ooh, what's that mean? I'm gonna say it slowly so you, now I play the game. Pour j'allais au toilette s'il vous plaît. Where's the toilet? Close. S'il vous plaît. Um, like, please? Mm hmm. Toilette. Toilet, please? Yeah. Pour j'allais au toilette s'il vous plaît. Can I use the bathroom? Yeah. Can Yay! I use the bathroom, please? Also, je ne comprends pas. No. That's one that I use a lot. <laughs> no idea. It means I don't understand. <laughs> Today is the day. Whee! Ta da! Now let's get started. Okay, quick update. I did this on the board. The decorations have started to be put up. Shout out to Elizabeth Dawson and Abby Sherd for coming by and starting to decorate here. I finished the cake this morning. Two little cars and a magic trail of sprinkles. It just kind of came together this way. I did the best I could. <laughs> We're just gonna say that. And the best part is, Autumn still has no clue. The surprise has remained intact. In fact, we had planned on going to get her ears pierced tomorrow before the party that she thinks is happening. But she texts me not long ago and says, what if we went today instead, this afternoon? And I said, okay. So officially couldn't do this without Elizabeth because Elizabeth is gonna come back and finish decorating before we get back. And after I go with Autumn to get her ears pierced, we're gonna come back and then surprise. So that's the plan. That's what's currently happening. It is 3.30. Party starts at 8.30. Time to go kill some time. Tastes like strawberries. 
Hi, welcome to Autumn Bottom. We are gonna go get my Dave Pierce. Dave? It's this right here. This piercing is supposed to help with migraines and headaches, which I deal with quite often. There's mixed reviews on whether it does or not, or whether it's just a placebo, but I'm like, either way, if it doesn't end up helping with my headaches, still a cute piercing. Here? Here. Oh, in, uh, yeah. This is you're a pansy. Are we going to the same place? No, this is a place called Anchor. Good, because that lady is mean. Hot Springs, here we go. Turn right on Washita Avenue, and we're there. All right, it's done, everybody. We got a blurple ring in there. Blurple. That's what it's called. I literally said blurple. It hurt, but it's done. There it is. It's really down in there. <laughs> it hurts. It hurt really bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to hurt that bad. She hit it very well. I would not have guessed that she was in pain. <laughs> the headache did go away. Maybe it's just because I can feel the pain of this. Well, that's one way to make a headache go away. Please, as she opens the door. Elizabeth decorated most of this everything. I'll get it. The party was a roaring success. In all honesty, I was not expecting it to go as well as it did, but it worked. And now today I find myself in the strange position of having a full Saturday and no homework. So I've decided I'm gonna do some writing today and uh, this is where I leave you this week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.